I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com, where we'll take a closer look at the matchups this week as FC Dallas is preparing to travel to take on the Columbus Crew in the first leg of the Pioneer Cup. Let's take a look at the tactics to get started. I think what you'll see in the Columbus Crew this weekend is last week they were 0-0 at home against the New York Red Bulls. This was the starting team that they rolled out, which I believe really looked like a 4-5-1 for large portions of that game. I believe in this game, FC Dallas needs to do a very good job of breaking their initial high pressure. So the first key to have success is break the Columbus high pressure. So in this clip, what you'll see is Eddie Gavin, Andres Mendoza, Emmanuel Ekpo, and Robbie Rogers really are in this area of the field trying to pressure the New York Red Bulls back four. What New York does so very well is they're patient in their buildup and giving the central midfielders time to get in a supporting position. And then it's the number 11, Danley Borman for the Red Bulls, who's the player that breaks that initial pressure, and then the New York Red Bulls are off and running and building and creating that attack. This is what FC Dallas needs to do to have success specifically early on in the game. Well, I think the, the confidence that we have in the midfield, Danny and the other guys to, you know, compose here on the ball to look up and see those passes if they come at us. We have fast players uh, coming up top. So I think, uh, you know, Davi or Chavez or whoever is up top and uh, on the sides, they can break with that speed, that pressure. Maybe they'll get caught and it'll be open for good counterattacks. I think we have a good counterattack team. I think when you look at the Columbus crew from last week's game, their attack at, at periods became very predictable. And I think that was due in large part to the midfield and the back four for the New York Red Bulls. They were very organized and very compact. And what they did in doing that is they really didn't allow the Columbus crew any opportunity to play through passes into the feet of their forwards, Emmanuel Ekpo or Andres Mendoza. So I think what you need to see from FC Dallas in this match is a key to their success will really be dependent upon them staying very compact and very organized defensively. We know that last week there was a couple goals conceded in that 2-0 loss that didn't necessarily do that. So when they look forward to this match against the Columbus crew, they'll need to do that in order to have success. So what you'll see in this clip here is there's a ball that begins with Chad Marshall at the back. He does play it into the feet of Emmanuel Ekpo, who has no other choice but to play it backwards to Eddie Gavin. His only choice then is, uh, is Balshan on the right side of midfield. His only option then is Emmanuel Ekpo to play it to a through runner on the right side of midfield. Well, that ball ended up going out of play. But overall, what you would say is that the New York Red Bulls, because they were compact and organized defensively, really gave the Columbus crew nowhere to go and made that attack look so predictable. We spent the whole first half hour to 45 minutes of just organization, uh, balancing when balls on one side uh, exactly where our outside back needs to tuck and uh, basically communication between our center backs because uh, like we said last game, I mean, me and George, uh, we had a definitely lack of communication with each other and I think that's going to be really important following up this season. Well, on Friday night, both teams will be in search of their first victory, but what a perfect way to have these two teams square off. It's a tribute to the man that has meant so much to U.S. soccer, the pioneer and visionary Lamar Hunt. So leg one of the Pioneer Cup will take place Friday night on Fox Soccer. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. Or for our Spanish listeners, you can tune in to 12.70 a.m. with your host, Carlos Alvarado, in his 16th season. Well, make sure you keep coming back to FCDallas.com for all of your club information. For FCDTV, I'm Bobby Ryan.